It was another busy week in Beaconville with every fall team in action and the men's tennis team joining the fray. With that, here's our two-minute drill version of the Week in Review. Women's soccer continued their tremendous start to the season with a pair of wins to move to 8-0 on the year. Tuesday, the Beacons took down Fitchburg State 5-0 behind a pair of goals from Taylor Andrews and the first career goal from freshman Danny Bean. Saturday was more of the same as Crystal Layden and Andrews scored in a 2-0 win over Rhode Island College. The Beacons were just as impressive in volleyball as Terry Connon's crew cruised to a 3-0 week. It all started off with a huge 3-1 road victory over regionally ranked Trinity College in which UMB won the final three sets. The team returned home for the next two contests as they took down conference foes Southern Maine and Rhode Island College in three sets apiece. With the three wins, UMass Boston extended their season-long winning streak to five games. Men's soccer displayed some strong defense this week as they allowed just one goal in two games and finished with an 0-1-1 record. Tuesday, Bryce Maynard and the Beacons shut out the Salem State Vikings in a 0-0 overtime tie. Maynard made two stops and the Beacons outshot the Vikings 21-9. Saturday was more of the same as UMass Boston limited Rhode Island College's chances but fell 1-0 on a late anchorman goal. UMass Boston women's tennis ended a three-game losing streak this week as they finished 1-2. Tuesday, the Beacons fell 6-3 at Southern Maine, but freshman Solveig Castelli and Stephanie Rees provided a bright spot as the pair won a perfect 3-0. UMass Boston would have a perfect day as a team on Thursday with a 9-0 sweep of Eastern Nazarene College with seven players contributing. Saturday, the Beacons didn't fare quite as well, falling 9-0 to UMass Dartmouth. The cross-country teams were back in action Sundays. They took to the course at the Greater Boston Invitational. The men's team finished third behind Jay Karen's 28th place finish, while the women had a strong start to their season behind Nicole Sideropoulos' 21st place finish. And last but not least, the men's tennis team got a jump on their season with their first fall match of the year. The Beacons easily hurdled Colby Sawyer College by a 9-0 score. Newcomers Sean Cullen and Eglis Bizzotti made an immediate impact with a win at number two doubles.